Down on the corner. 20 bucks. Yeah. Well, come on, business is slow. I'm helping you out here, okay? I'm feeling things are about to pick up. Right. I didn't want to have to do this, but. Get back in your car. Keep your hands where I can see you. I'm warning you. Drop, Drop it. Drop it. I'm, I'm a, a cop. cop. What? Detective Walker, 21st Precinct. I'm undercover here. Rafferty, I'm in your neighborhood acting on an anonymous tip. The uh, gun store? Yeah, CI told me those skinheads over there were going to hit it, and I didn't want any street walkers getting knocked off in the crossfire. Uh -huh. Well, I think you just blew my cover. Not necessarily. Hey, what about that? Ah, uh, that's just a hooker with a trick. Come on, let's get this done. Come on, let's go. 20 bucks? Go for backup. What, what is this, 20 bucks? Love these midnight madness sales. Everything must go. <laughs> we'll never have to buy anything ever again. <laughs> Unit 2963 requesting immediate backup of Army of Angels ammo. Please respond. Police! Drop your weapons. Darcy, this is an old, old story. Once upon a time, there was a scorpion who wanted to cross a river. The scorpion couldn't swim, so he asked a frog for a ride on his back. Wasn't the frog scared the scorpion would sting him? Yes, he was. Do you take me for a fool? Why would I sting you? If I did, you'd drown, and I'd drown with you. Well, that seems logical. I won't hurt you. I promise. Halfway across the river, he did sting him. Now we'll both drown. Why did you sting me? Because I'm a scorpion. I don't understand that story, Daddy. Someday you will, Darcy. Someday you will. In the light of day, Darcy Walker is a cop. But in the dark of night, she becomes Black Scorpion. Doing with a mask what she can't do with a badge.
filled up. Looks like you guys got caught with your pants down. Eat my shorts! It goes double for me! Like you could use a hand. Man, I hate guys with hair. Let me help you up. You're under arrest, Black Scorpion. What are the charges? got a long list of priors, Black Scorpion. Leaving the scene of a crime, reckless endangerment, destruction of public property, possession of concealed weapons, and speeding. I think you forgot one. Oh yeah, what's that? Assaulting an officer. Black Scorpion. She didn't hurt you, did she? No. No, she made a hell of an impression on me. The masked vigilante known as the Black Scorpion escaped the police again last night. This just one week after Mayor Worth called the entire department incompetent. Oh, I can't believe the mayor called us incompetent. Jeez. Can you open this? Yeah. Hey. Walker, meet your new partner. You're kidding, right? Need you to know each other? This woman owes me 20 bucks. All I'm saying is, a man has no right to call us incompetent. Damn, they put these suckers on tight, don't they? Give me that. Thanks, Cap. You know, I mean, if the mayor had any proof for incompetent, that'd be different. You know what I'm saying? In a related story, Mayor Worth is expected to introduce a task force. Our own Benita Bradley is live outside the community center. Benita? According to polls, Mayor Worth's popularity plummeted after his infamous shakedown scandal, in which he was charged with, but not convicted of, embezzling earthquake relief funds. The mayor is expected to meet with the press at any moment now. Mayor. Yes, and here he is now. Can we just get a comment real quick here? My fellow citizens, the city of Angels can no longer live up to its angelic name. We are not a city of Angels, but a city of muggers, carjackers, and murderers. Don't forget, embezzlers and adulterers. Wait, 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 wait. And what do the police do about the crime that threatens our community? They sit idly by eating their donuts. And when the police finally do make an arrest, who do they go after but a law-abiding citizen like myself? That's why I am introducing Guard. G-U-A-R-D, led by my good friend here, General Stryker, who will now answer all the questions that you may have. General? Uh, General. Strike 
Stryker. General, what does GUARD stand for? Well, that information is classified. If I told you, I'd have to shoot you. So the question is, how badly do you want to know? General, General. He's joking, of course. The letters stand for the same thing that the task force does. Guerrillas for urban armed response and defense. Mr. Mayor, how do you respond to the planned police protest of this program? Well, let the police protest all they want. There's one thing I've learned after 20 years of politics is you can't fight City Hall. Maybe you can, well, sir. But I can. Yeah, get a shot. Who the hell are you? You can call me Fire Arm. Everybody down! search and destroy. So do I. And you're it. Mr. Mayor knows I can't. Oh, 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 oh. You misunderstand, Black Scorpion? It's not you that I'm after. It's Mayor Worth. We're gonna have to go through me to get him. If that's what you want. Where do you think you're going? After the mayor. 
I hate it when men run out on me. So we've got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> Argyle, I gotta hand it to you. I think the morph adjustment you made on the scorpion ring has definitely done the trick. Well, of course it did. Look, if I can reorganize the atoms in your car, why not your clothes? Although, I have to admit, I had to put in some major overtime to get all that software to fit on your ring finger. All right, all right. What do I owe you? Look, Blue, drop it, okay? I mean, if it wasn't for you busting me, I'd still be doing hard time with the rest of my gang. I figure... This squares us. And besides, outfitting your alter ego with vehicular weaponry gives me an excuse to get out of the apartment. Why do you want to get out of the apartment? Hey, baby! There you are! Hey, Darce. Baby, I am trying to figure out what wallpaper should go in what room. I figured the avocado print for the kitchen and the crushed velvet for the bedroom, but where do you want to see the leopard spots? On the leopard, where they belong. Mm. Yeah, you're right. It's too tacky. <laughs> well, I'm going back to the decorators and get some more swatches for you to look at. We're going to do this thing right, even if I have to bring home every last wallpaper sample they have. Every last one? Well, just want to make you happy, baby. Mwah. Thanks. Blue, I'm not cut out for this domestic life. At least you have someone. Hey, 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 hi, uh, uh, look, Strickland gave me your address. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, not at all. Can I get you something? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. Um, look, I want to talk to you about what happened today. Me too. I'm not used to having my partners order me to wait in the car. Yeah, and I'm not used to having partners who don't wear their vest. My vest? Yeah, you know, I mean... Look, I know your old man was a rogue cop who didn't go by the book, but just because he made dangerous choices doesn't mean that you have to. Wait a minute. You ordered me to wait in the car because I wasn't wearing my vest? Yeah. Hey, what else? I thought it was because I was a woman. <laughs> my older partner was a little protective. We, uh... Ah, never mind. Well, you know, Miss Walker, that's one thing you don't have to worry about with me because I, um, I don't mix business with pleasure. Well, good. So, uh, how'd you end up at the 21st? I requested it. You know, your precinct has the highest crime rate in the city, and where there's crime, there's Black Scorpion. You mean you transferred here to chase Black Scorpion? No, I transferred here to catch her. Look, um, just be smart, be safe. <clears throat> the computer came up with a list of all the people who've made death threats against Mayor Worth in the last four years. And? Captain, there must be a, there must be a thousand names here. 1,221 to be exact. Of course, 16 of those threats are from Mrs. Ward. So what do we do now? We go after Jack Ain. According to his file, he's an ex-cop who was shot down over Angel Desert. He was searching for a secret militia group that was stockpiling weapons. Do we have an address? Yeah, he's got a room at Angel City Community Center. He works there trying to overturn Prop 357. You know, the one that would eliminate the waiting period before you buy a gun.
go. This is Lieutenant Jack Ames of the CAPD. Who the hell are you? Yeah, well, never mind who I am. All you need to know is that I outrank you. In what army? The Army of the Arcadian Alliance. Triple A, huh? Sounds like you guys ought to be towing trucks. That's what you think. Public. Well, I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> and furthermore, in light of the current flu epidemic, I will not be doing any handshaking or baby kissing during this re-election campaign. Yes, baby. <laughs> well, you're right. And I'll start with this baby right here. <laughs> <laughs> but Artie, you know what? what if someone comes in? <gasps> oh, not a chance. I had General Stryker put in a new door for protection. <laughs> Neato. <laughs> not even a tank could get through that. <laughs> Son of a gun? No, I'm afraid that would be me. Any last requests? <laughs> Just one. Don't kill me. I've got a wife. Artie? And a secretary. I'll do anything. Just tell me what you want. I wanted you to shoot down Prop 357. But you didn't. So now I'm going to shoot you down instead. a chance. I was only giving the people what they wanted. The people? The taxpayers. Every district in this city was demanding that bill. Oh, why do you think it was voted in by 73% of the population? Is that true? <laughs> I swear. See, I'm just a puppet. You pull my strings, I dance. So then it is the people that are to blame. Yep, yeah, th that's absolutely right. If you want to get rid of firearms, you're going to have to kill them all. Yeah, th that was just an exaggeration. You can't kill everybody, can you? I'm going to shut up now. And I'm going to take my message to the people. Whoa! I think you're jumping the gun.
drinking drivers. Look, this was not my fault. Yeah, that's what they all say. Hmm. Hmm, what, what, what is him? What does that mean? If the transformer chip is still working... Yeah? I can reprogram it and reorganize the molecules at the atomic level and get this baby back in shape. I hope so, because my insurance doesn't cover supervillains. In the meantime, you got a loner? Something inconspicuous? I think I have just the thing. Voila! <laughs> so, uh, you call this inconspicuous, huh? It is inconspicuous. Right. If you were our guy, you'd blend right in. You know, I think from now on, you need to take your fashion advice from Veronica. Live by the gun, die by the gun. Stryker? Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, uh, I, I underestimated firearm. Yes, sir, I understand, sir. Whatever means are necessary. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. The general can't be serious about using missiles against firearm. The mayor has authorized him to use whatever means are necessary. But a missile this size, it'll annihilate the whole city. He's right. General? A missile that size could annihilate the whole city. Which is why I ordered you to deploy its younger brother, which only kills living organisms within a five-mile radius. I'm sorry, sir. I misunderstood your order. Oh, well, let's see if you can understand this one. About hey! Congratulations, Private. You've just been promoted. Thank you, sir. Now, don't let me down. I don't want any mistakes. I can't afford them, and neither can you. Now unload the missile from the truck! Don't waste your strength, soldier. That was mine. Fire! Just don't stand there! Open fire! Reported from the warehouse on the corner of Seraphim Boulevard and Cherubim Way. Access layer. On my order, charge him. Don't worry, son. I'll be right behind you. Move out! Surrender or else? I'm the last one you should try to strong arm. Why are you doing this? Well, I believe that every citizen deserves the right to bear arms. Even you. But why a missile? It should make our citizens happy. More bang for their buck.
come I never get the drive? All right, whatever. So, what do you think of your new set of wheels? What are you talking about? I can't afford a car like this. Would you chill out, Blue? It's already bought and paid for. That is, if you've kept up on your payments. I don't understand. Look, I figured as long as I was reprogramming the transformer chip, why not upgrade my girl with a newer model? You mean this is the Stingray? Not only that, check this out. Your computer, activate auto transform. It's also the new and improved Scorpio Mobile. New and improved, huh? Yeah. I put in a few extras. Pursuit of Black Scorpion. All units, Scorpion Mobile heading west down Cherubim Way. It's us. Call it in. This is unit 2964. We're on it. Ah, uh, the mayor's not gonna be able to call us incompetent once we catch the black scorpion. Now might be a good time to try out some of those extras. Yo, computer, discharge stingers. One word, lawsuit. Now let me get this straight. Black Scorpion escaped by stopping. Do you know the department car's cap? Yeah, you slam on the brakes at 90 miles an hour and those airbags just explode. Imagine that. They could have smothered us. Those things should be a safety hazard. That's right, you know, you should really think about getting those removed, Cap. Now I know why the mayor called us incompetent. We are. Uh, Captain, we ran a check on General Stryker for you, like you asked. And? And he's a vet, a former chopper pilot who's been dishonorably discharged for being a little trigger happy. Ever since then, he's been forming various militias, all of them unsuccessful, except for his most recent venture, Guard. The mayor's task force. Yeah, and there's no telling how long they've been stockpiling ballistic weapons in that warehouse, but I will bet there's enough there to blow the city up ten times over. Well, all firearm needs is one. And he's got it. Computer, get me Argyle. Uh oh. Let's see what we got here. What's up, Blue? I need to pick your criminal mind. That's X criminal mind. Thank you very much. When you used to steal cars, where would you hide them? That's easy. Sales lots, repair shops, parking garages. The last place anybody would look to find them. So in other words, any place they'd blend in. Exactly. Hey, wait a minute. You're not looking for a new set of wheels already, are you? No, actually, I'm looking for a missile. Oh, now why didn't you say so? Look, I can hook you up with one of those. Take me about a week to find the parts. Thanks, Argo. I think I know where I can find one. It's time to bring out the big guns. <laughs> All right, let's see what this car's made of. He's just walking into the web. <laughs> no one can stop me from making the city of angels hell on earth. This 
request is going to require some of my personal attention. <laughs> Magnetic field up. Consider yourself disarmed. I don't need an arm to take my revenge. I just need a finger to press the button. This one. I'm calling the shots now. And shots are the reason you're doing this. You want firearms off the street, don't you? Jack? Oh. Uh, you see, this is taking a bit longer than I expected. I am actually relieved that you know who I am. And I know what it's like to hunger for revenge, but this won't solve anything. Take off your mask. What? Well, since we're getting to know each other by our first names, I thought it would be nice if you took your mask off. Or I'm gonna blow it off. Ah, Detective Walker! I should have known. Oh, you truly are your father's daughter. He never would hesitate to take the law into his own hands either. And that's exactly what got him killed. He was shot by a gunman seeking revenge. But he didn't have to spend the rest of his life as a useless cripple. I would have given anything to die in action. Anything. I can arrange that. Striker. Bang, bang, you're dead. What? I said. the gun. Die by the gun. Couldn't agree with you more. One move and I'll fire. I'll take my revenge on the rest of the city. You make one move and I'll shoot. What the hell? I always wanted to go out with a bang. I promise to overturn Proposition 357 and get all the guns off the street. And why? Because Artie Worth always gives the people what yeah. they want. This guy changed his tune more than a radio. Hey, speaking of changes, how's uh, the redecorating going? Oh, man, it's going all right. Out the door. And what about Veronica? Oh, she's going too, trust me. If you ask me, I think you're making a big mistake. Blue, you know me, I'm not the domestic type. I'm still ready to party up in here. Come on, Argyle, you cannot give me one good reason for living alone. I can't give you one good reason. No, you cannot. You're right, I can't give you one good reason. I can give you five. Nobody to open your mail, nobody to use your remote control, nobody to leave hair in the sink, nobody to use your razor to shave their hairy legs, and nobody to just nag at you all day. Well, that all sounds good, but there's just one drawback. What? The no one part. I'm out of here. 
Hey, where you going my zebra rug? Excuse me. And my Christmas tinsel, you know I need this. And my flower lampshade. And I can't do without my dog. Have you been drinking? Look, I want you to march back up them steps and put this stuff where it belongs. Back in our apartment. Our apartment? You heard me. Our apartment. Come here, girl. Who is it? The Rafferty. It's open. Hey. Hi. What uh, brings you by? Did I leave my jacket here the other night? Yes, you did. It's uh, it's on the couch there. Ah, oh, great. Have you had dinner yet? As a matter of fact, I'm on my way to O'Brien's right now. Perfect. Why don't you let me treat you? I mean, after all, I do owe you that 20 bucks. Dice, uh, that's not a good idea. I told you, I don't mix business with pleasure. Oh, would you relax? I'm just talking about a burger. I, I don't think it's a good idea. And, 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 look, I, I've never had a woman partner before. And what's more, the other night, you, you, you kissed me while you were undercover. And I just, I'm worried. What, that it might happen again? No, that you might get the wrong idea. Walker, I'm a one-woman guy. Uh-huh. Who is she? I wish I knew. Anyway, uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>